Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans Devon Branch and today we're doing some walk around videos on some of our uh, new and used uh, caravans and motorhomes. Uh, this particular one is a Compass Avant Garde 194 2020 model, brand new unregistered. This is our very last one of the model year so it's a good buy for someone as it's uh, less expensive than its uh, replacement which is basically exactly the same and it's a low profile, uh, narrow body, 7.3 metre coach built uh, with a slightly different layout which is good. Uh, so Compass are part of the uh, part of the Heimer group these days, so they're part of the wider German Heimer group. Um, but they are still built in uh, Consett in the northeast of England, where they've been built alongside Eldis for many many years now. So the Avant Garde range is their mid-range sort of entry-level ones. Uh, this particular one is priced at just a smidgen over fifty thousand, brand new on the road. So you'll pay that for a sort of three four year old van sometimes, but this one is brand new with full manufacturer warranties. So you get a ten year body shell warranty, a three year Peugeot warranty on the base vehicle and a three-year um, equipment warranty uh, from Heimer Group on all of your uh, kit and fittings and such like. So the 194 was a new model a couple of years ago. It's been uh, very, very popular uh, as it offers a European layout with a British twist. So it's quite unique in the industry in fairness too and it's been one of our best-selling uh, Compass coach built. So she's a low profile. Let's have a look at the vital statistics there. So she's based on the Peugeot Boxer. Um, 2.2 140 horsepower the latest Euro 6D engine uh, so she's 2020 Compass Avant Garde 194 140 brake 2.2 turbo diesel four berth four seat belts which are done in a very clever way because you've still got a twin sofa lounge but you get the traveling seats as well 7.3 meters only 2.2 wide that's worth mentioning uh, most fans are 2.35 these days this is a narrow body one only 2.2 wide uh, 2.8 tall and she's a three and a half tonner so you can drive her on a normal car license and you've got a very healthy payload of nearly 600 kilos that's the brochure payload actual payload will depending on what extras you want but it's a very practical van at uh, three and a half ton which is great uh, so optional extras we've got the Lux pack which is air conditioning cruise control twin airbags I think you'll find that on all of these it's got smart alloy wheels it's got the Remis cab blinds factory microwave and the factory camera so it's got all the factory options that you'd want and that's all in at £50,577 on the road so let's have a little look around her so we'll have a look down the driver's side first so all in white very smart minimal graphics in fairness to it. it's a good looking van uh, we've got those optional alloy wheels which we order most of ours with the alloy wheels because they really set the van off quite well you've got lightly tinted double glazed side windows these are grade 3 fully winterised vans so they've been tested down to minus 20 and they could maintain uh, temperature inside at that uh, on the roof there you'll see the TV aerial which is uh, part of the standard equipment We've got mains hook up here and 100 amp hour leisure battery as standard if you want an extra leisure battery or a solar panel we can fit that but this is more than sufficient for most people. Also down here we've got the theta cassette um, emptying hatch and the um, fresh water fill up point there and then we've got a garage door so the 194 is a is a garage model with a very large garage. English brands sometimes let themselves down in terms of garage space and storage but Compass have taken some advice from their uh, German parent company and, and copied the bed and garage layout of the most popular European van. So you've got twin singles or a very large double bed over a very large garage. Coming around to the back of the van there, they are pre-fitted for a bike rack there. So there's no drilling or cutting involved if you wanted a bike rack. But the garage there is plenty big enough, as we'll see on the other side, to fit bikes inside. And you've just got your high-level factory-fitted reversing camera up there as well. So very, very smart bit of kit on the outside. Uh, a very reasonable price so let's have a walk around to the uh, to the other side there let's just have a little look in the cab while we're here so we've got those optional Remis concertina cab blinds that most people like they do still come with the uh, curtains as well which do give you a sort of nice feeling of warmth and coziness you've got leather uh, gear stick and steering wheel as standard there you've got the smart uh, latest dash You've got a Bluetooth uh, DAB stereo system with steering wheel controls, cab aircon and cruise control as part of the Lux pack which this one has as well. And the 140 brake on a van that's, that's light like this is a very nice drive in fairness too, it's absolutely fine. 120 standard the Compass build all of theirs on the upgrade 140. Looking down the side of the van there you can see 
She's only a little smidgen wider than the actual cab that it's on, and that's important. Down the Devon and Cornwall country lanes where we're based, uh, or if you're going abroad, knocking around Normandy or any of these places, uh, you've got uh, a very practical van. It's the width that makes the difference, in fairness to it, not the, uh, not the length a lot of the time. So these are a pleasure to drive. Walking down the driver's side, a nice colour-coded door handles, just finish it off nicely. Compass Explorer Group badge there. Uh, solid badge, so solid stands for strong, light and dry. These vans, instead of being screwed together, with lots of screws, lots of sealant, lots of pinch points, these are bonded together. So they've been doing it for nearly 10 years now and they actually glue the vans together basically, which avoids a lot of pinch points and cuts down on the risk of damp. They can still be damp, as can any van, no matter what the manufacturers say, but it's much less likely to be so and you get that 10 year damp warranty as well to, uh, to back that up, which is good. On the outside there was no factory awning option, so we could fit you a canopy there if you, uh, if you want to. We've got an awning light on the outside there. We've got the flu uh, breather points for your microwave, which this one has. Fridge vents there. Uh, nice, easy opening with a new style door catch. Um, door with a magnetic hold, which will hold it open very well. Uh, and then let's have a look back here. We've got the gas locker with room for two six kilo gas bottles. Calagas will go in there, all refillables. And then the reason you buy this van, or one of the big selling points, is of course the garage. As I say, most British brands don't do a garage model. If they do, they don't make the garage big enough. This is one very big garage. Plenty of room in there for bikes. You'll fit a motorbike or a scooter in there if you wish as well. You've got a light in there as well. You've got practical plastic coating with two drain points and four tie down points and a heater over there for those who might want to use it as a as a kennel people do that god i'd put the kids in there if i could in fairness to it we did want in our garage van but they found the way out you've got another light on the other side as well there and that's just a really really good space in fairness to it well done compass for doing something different now the key difference between this and how the europeans do their vans all the European vans, until very recently anyway, tended to have sit up and beg dinette seats which aren't very comfortable for lounging. Now we in this country spend more time in the van, coming in the door there, you just heard the nice magnetic clunk of the uh, holder opener. We've got a fly screen door as standard and we've got a twin sofa lounge which is brilliant. It's taken years for people to give us a big garage and a twin sofa lounge and a bed that you can get in and out of easily. So this is definitely a box ticker this one. We've got a forward TV point there with a TV bracket. There's another one back uh, in the rear for the bedroom. Now you'd look at this and you think where are my seat belts? Now underneath of these side sofas if I can just drop you can lift up the side sofas or you can get in underneath. You'll see underneath there folded up is an agouti German seat belted travel seat so if you are traveling with guests kids whatever you fold these up to there and then pull a couple of levers and you've got two seat belted traveling seats one under either side of there which is great but when they're down you'd never know they're there you've got a nice comfortable twin sofa lounge so for our core market which is probably people who don't always go with kids but sometimes do you've got the option there of taking them without compromising your own comfort which is a really good thing i think and then sleeping wise at the front there you simply pull these two together and you've got a very large double bed or if you're going with people or kids who don't want to cohabitate the option is there to pull either bit out slightly utilizing the feet on the cab seats and you've got single beds that one's a bit shorter but if you're talking kids absolutely fine that one's adult length over that side so yeah it's a true four berth four seat belt van nice finishing inside you've got this mid sort of light colored upholstery you've got cosmetic curtains blinds and fly screens of course and all the windows you've got a uh, modern wood finish not very woody colored it's sort of gray grainy sort of woody grainy kind of color nice hecky roof light above uh, and then twin swivel cab seats which easily swivel around and it's a nice place to be in furnace to it of an evening so you've got a small step up into the uh, into the cab there which levels the floor up with the front got all the normal Peugeot bits and bobs in the cab that we described from the uh, from the outside your reversing camera would go on the end of that cable there it's a mirror mounted monitor which I think are better and you've got handy little bits of storage over the cab as well which is not a bad thing Turning around and looking towards the rear of the vehicle, you can see down the van there at the back, we'll see in a moment, we've got your bedroom with a couple of steps up and then your high level single beds that can be turned into a very large double bed, habitation door there and then we've got the, uh, we've got the kitchen. So 
Kitchen wise, something else the British do better than the Europeans, we like to cook in our van, so we've got in this one a full three piece oven stroke grill stroke hob with three gas burners on top. We've got the factory optional microwave at the top there. We've got a decent bit of workspace and then we've got an additional lift up workshop, work top flap even. Then we've got a three way fridge freezer underneath of that with a full width freezer that is removable if you don't want to freeze it and you can have a bigger fridge. That runs off mains electric gas or your engine when you're driving. Heating is and water heating is dealt with by Whale from Northern Ireland. A lot of manufacturers are moving to Whale now because you can actually fit the unit underneath the van. It doesn't take up any space and this runs off of gas or mains electric to do your heating. It's very, very powerful. As I say, these ace the winterization tests and to do that, they cool the van to minus 20 and then it's got three hours to heat itself up to plus 15 and maintain it using its own onboard heating systems. So they are quite practical things for cold weather or year round use anyway. Um, practical flooring, you've got uh, white clean flooring but you've also got uh, carpets which uh, come with the van as well. Moving on to the rear of the vehicle, now this is the number one selling layout in Europe, has been for many years because you've got two very large independent single beds there but should you wish you can simply put a board in there and they come with a cushion to fill it in and then you've got more bed, sort of like a double. You could remove that cushion if you want, use that for your brews and things. Um, you've got plug sockets back there for your phones, USBs and spotlights and a handy little storage cupboard for your books and things. I like that. Proper headboards and you've got a window on each side which is opening and a opening roof vent as well. Stepping up into the bed, it looks quite high but in fairness to it, it's it's not. It's it's quite easy to get into. You've got your TV, second TV bracket there and TV point for it which is a really good idea again. And then wardrobe wise you've got lots and lots of storage space in this van. So you've got a big wardrobe here with the carpets in and some other bits and bobs. You've got your freestanding table for the front lounge and your TV aerial up there. Loads and loads of room in there in fairness to it. You've actually got two hanging rails if you want to uh, hang more clothes. And then you've got more storage underneath the foot sections of the bed here as well. These are absolutely massive. I don't know if you can quite see that, but there's loads and loads of room on that side and a decent bit on the other side as well, as well as storage in your steps. That's got pumps and things like that in it. And then we've got a big deep storage box there where you could put your wine and reach it from bed, which is fantastic. And um, bathroom is the only thing we haven't done. Bathroom, if I'm being critical, is not a strong point of this van because it's narrow. You run out of room for a separate shower. So it's got a, a wet room arrangement, comes with a shower curtain to cut off that side of things. So not everything does get wet. You've got a, a different shower hose there and then you tap your nice freestanding basin. Nice big mirror, big storage cupboard there as well. And you'd set for cassette toilet which is all all waterproof there because uh, it's narrow it's not the biggest but it's quite usable in fairness to it and for most people who don't shower in the van most of the time which i think you'll find you won't in fairness to it no matter what you think and um, that's more than adequate so this is her she is the 2020 model compass avant garde 194 this is our very last one of the year um we've got 2021s on order if you want something different spec wise from this one but this has got all the nice spec on it uh, it's at the 2020 price which is 50,500 on the road it's in stock it's available now at highbridge motorhomes devon branch contact us through the website about the 2020 compass avant-garde 194 or give us a call and ask to speak to devon and we will give you a ring back thank you very much Bye bye